Hello everyone, uh, I'm Mustafa Zerti, I'm Egyptian professional squash player and I'm world number 72. Um, Cheeky Monkey Squash have sent me some questions to answer, so here we go. Um, it's pre planified the whole week, uh, I've got a fitness session in the morning uh, with my coach Nasser Adminem and then I've got a uh, squash session or solo session with uh, either my coaches Karim Ali or Muhammad Abbas and then I go back home, have lunch and then go again to uh, play a match or like a uh, session with uh, another player uh, and then head back home or see just some friends or anything like that. Started playing squash since I was five years old. Uh, I've always wanted to play a, a racket sport, and then uh, my parents actually decided this for me, so they got me involved in squash. So I keep trying to prepare myself mentally and physically before the match, but most of the time I keep listening to music and start to hit the ball and do some footwork to just get my body and my mind and and try to 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 get into the match uh, before it starts. Uh, so when it starts, I'm into it and, and I'm giving my 100%. Uh, I try to deal with it with the calmest way I can. Uh, I try to relax and find a solution so I can get over the pressure I'm having. It's either inside the court or outside of it. I've had few things to overcome actually throughout my career so far. Uh, one of uh, one of them is is um, is to to not compare myself to anyone else. Uh, to not compare where I am now to to any of the bet the good players or the top players uh, uh, when they were uh, when they were same age as mine. Uh, this was actually one of my uh, my toughest things to overcome. Uh, but I actually did overcome it by not by not comparing myself to anyone and putting my in my mind that everyone has his own story to write and 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 everyone has his own path uh, to go and what's meant for me it's gonna happen for me at the end so so that's how I did overcome it. If there's any piece of advice I would say is is to not rush with it. Uh, if you're really confident with the way you play and you you feel like you can compete with with the top players and you can compete with that pace and with that that game, uh, then you have 100% go for it. Um, if not, then you have to wait and you have to to be able to train yourself uh, to get to that level. In my bag now. Uh, uh, I've got my unsquashable rackets, uh, my shoes, uh, clothes, uh, some squash balls, uh, and some recovery stuff from post roll, uh, like massage gun and 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 the roll uh, to to keep my uh, my body recovered. And yeah, that's pretty much it.